Nathan Bernard, Southwestern Manitoba. I uh, I quite enjoy running my farm with my dad, uh, 4,000 acres in southwestern Manitoba. Uh, we farm soybeans, wheat, canola, and rye, and uh, we have uh, really enjoyed uh, working together the past couple of years through challenges that we faced and uh, and trying to grow as an operation and expand the the capabilities we have to tackle the challenges that are coming at us differently on a year-to-year -year basis. Yeah, so. awesome. Well, it's really nice to meet you. Uh, so uh, as you were speaking about challenges that your firm has faced, uh, the year that you signed up for FBN 2019 was sort of a, a record-breaking year in a bad way for you guys. So can you describe a little bit more about that and, and uh, tell us about that year? So 2019... Um, it started off as a pretty good year. We were able to get our crops in to maintain them and follow through to about harvest where it just didn't stop raining. It, we, we'd harvested a little bit of our crops and it didn't stop raining. And we basically had to battle through the entire winter and uh, spent about 12 months straight harvesting. And uh, if our rye would have been ready a little bit sooner, we would have actually continued harvesting for 12 months straight but we missed it by a couple of days. Wow. So that was a very different change for our farm. Um, usually we're finishing wrapping up at the end of October, November, and uh, it, it was a challenge. And moving ahead to where we are now in the two years after that, going from our worst year to some of our more profitable, manageable years over the last few years, um, and then facing different challenges, supply chain management and things like that, have really came into... Um, it came into the picture and, uh, and our farm has tried to grow through it and we've struggled, but we're changing and we're definitely starting to enjoy that a little bit more now as a farm. Awesome. So it's definitely a contrast between 2019 and then today. So that's good to hear. Um, and how have you used FBN on your farm? You know, what does it make, what makes it stand out from other tech companies that you've used before? So, so we've used, we've used a, a couple of different tech companies. We still are subscribing to some kind of feeling around the industry. I don't think anyone's really got anything quite locked down per se as, and people definitely have their own, their own uh, speciality of what they want, what they want to get back, what they want to give. And uh, when we've worked with FBN, um, I know that uh, even this year when we were seeding, we had an issue that uh, uh, we threw in a couple bags of an off-brand canola seed on the far end of a farm finishing up the fields. And we put that seed in and we kind of left and continued on our way and then I got a message from FBN saying that my field had changed dramatically so I pulled it up and I hadn't pulled these up before and I looked at it and I saw this little rectangular red square where everything else is kind of green and yellow and I was like that looks like a square line that looks like something I probably did I should probably go look at that so I went out and took a look at that and I couldn't figure out what it was because there's it was fine and then it wasn't fine so I was able to contact my seed rep and basically localize that down to a bag of canola seed that had germination problems oh and we were able to catch that because of the satellite imagery. And that was one of the really nice things. And we work with other satellite imagery companies and there's kind of some things like that, but not that picked it up and really notified me in the same way. So it was really nice to see that. And that's all, that's all included in the FBN membership. So that's like a great, a great uh, uh, asset to have. That's so awesome. Yeah, that's great. I mean, just sort of giving you a warning about like that cursed little area. So I love to hear that. And, and it's nice that it's part of the free membership, which helps. So mm -hmm. um, awesome. I'm, that is, and, and I'm also glad to hear you had such a good year this year. Um, you know, I know there's been supply chain issues everywhere, but mm -hmm. it's good to hear that at least the weather was cooperative for you. So that's great. Um, awesome. And sort of as a final fun question, I've I heard a rumor that you have a really cute farm dog. So can you tell me a little bit about your farm dog? My farm dog, Barley, has been around for three years. And ever since she was a little puppy, she enjoyed lots of rides in the cedar and the combine. Not a big fan of getting up into them yet, but we're working on that. <laughs> and, uh, there. 
and we definitely love running through the crops. Anytime I go for a field scout, I make sure that I use barley as my measurement to say, well, the crop's this high and you oh. know, all the wheat's growing this high. I can't see barley anymore <laughs> or, or, you know, running through the corn. I got to make sure that I don't lose her in there. So oh, no, we okay. have, we have a lot of fun running around and uh, I spend a lot of time uh, uh, next to a bathtub too sometimes working around the farm because there's yes. always lots of fun to get into with a with a dog I love that well barley sounds wonderful um I feel like everyone could use a barley on the farm as sort of a handy <laughs> measurement tool anyway so that's great um this has been wonderful and and thank you so much for talking about your experience with the satellite you know sort of warnings and and sort of how you got started um the year that you did with FBN which was challenging <laughs> but um I'm, I hope next year is just as good for you guys so thank you so much Thank you very much for uh, talking with me. It was a pleasure.